Hello. In this video, I'm going to talk to you about the cross Claisen reaction. So I'm just going to pick uh, two esters. We'll use uh, oh, ethyl acetate and ethyl propanoate. Both need to be ethyl esters so that I can uh, choose the appropriate base. And if I have different you know, different alkyl groups on my esters, obviously it'll be weird. Okay. Um, so this this cross Claisen reaction where one or we have two different esters suffers from some of the same limitations as the cross aldol condensation, where immediately you do not have any great uh, control over what is the nucleophile and what is the electrophile? You can have one ester, uh, you have either ester in both roles. Uh, so just populating my uh, little table here with all four combinations. So I could have ethyl acetate and ethyl acetate, and I would get. This product, if I had ethyl acetate and ethyl as that nucleophile and ethyl propanoate as the electrophile, I would get this product. If I had ethyl propanoate as the nucleophile and ethyl acetate as the electrophile, I would get this product. And then finally, if I had ethyl propanoate as both products, or both nucleophile and electrophile, I would get this fourth product. And in a very likely situation, you don't want all four of these, you just want one of them. Like say, oh, you know, I only want this one. Right? So there are some ways that we can go about getting just that one. Uh, and the two different methods for this mirror the two different methods for controlling the, the cross uh, aldol reaction. And the first method is order of addition, you know, using strong base. Okay. And by the way, this is the only way you can get this particular cross aldol product. Uh, th things can get pretty weird, right? But you can at least control cross aldol reactions by otherwise. Uh, by other means, and I'll show them to you. So we can treat ethyl propanoate, which is what we want to be our nucleophile, with lithium, with lithium diisopropyl amide, and completely deprotonate this compound into it. It's enolate. And then we can add ethyl acetate as our second you know, compound as our electrophile, and then do the aqueous workup as our third step, or acidic workup. And because we have controlled which one is going to be the nucleophile only, our, our ethyl acetate is nucleophile only, our, our ethyl, our methyl, our ethyl acetate is electrophile only. So, pardon me. Ethyl propanoate, nucleophile only. Ethyl acetate, electrophile only. One principal product. Okay. Another way that this can be done, uh, which also mirrors the uh, way that we do things. in uh, the uh, in the aldol world is to pick something that is more nucleophilic than our ester. So for example, you can do reactions where you have a ketone as a nucleophile and, and an ester as an electrophile. And it turns out that the ketone is a better nucleophile because the ketone is a little bit more acidic. Than, than the ester. Uh, 
that the extra alkoxy group on the ester makes it less acidic. So you could react cyclopentanone and uh, ethyl acetate in a Clayson type reaction, and you could count on the ketone being a nucleophile and the ester being an electrophile. Uh, I'm actually going to put the ketone up here. And the product's a little bit different. It doesn't contain the ester functional group, but it's the same kind of idea. The other uh, opportunity is to, to use something that can only be electrophile only. So in this case, I'll pick ethyl acetate as my nucleophile. But I'm going to pick something that can't be a nucleophile. And so one example uh, of that would be diethyl carbonate. This is this carbonate ester. No alpha hydrogens can't be an electrophile. Same deal as in one of the cross aldol uh, methods. And so this is a way... You can make some cross aldol reactions work. Again, this product now, because you have esters, more ester groups, is an ester instead of a keto ester or a diketone. This is a diester. In fact, this is a way you can make diethylmalonate, probably not the most efficient way. Right. So this concludes my video on crossed Claisen reaction. Again, most cross Claisen reactions, as they initially stand, are not productive, but there are some ways that you can control the role that the uh, esters play, either as electrophile only or nucleophile only, to get the desired outcome. Thank you for watching.